Peace. Welcome to Faith Expressions. I would like to be doing this series now for the RCIA group about the God who is one and yet three divine persons. God is God of communion. God is one yet a communion of persons. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In theological discussions in about this doctrine, there are many analogies that has been given. St. Augustine gave an analogy about the thinking mind, about the idea, about the spoken word. Uh, Photon Sheen has also his, his analogy. Uh, Bishop Robert Baron also has his, his analogy. But the classic explanation in our theology in doctrine says that, yes, there are three persons because there are three relationships. The relationship between the first person to the second person is called paternity. And so the first person is father. So the second person in relation to the first person, the relation is called filiation. And so the second person is called filio, son. Now, the relationship between the father and the son, and the son to the father, is a relationship of love, a relationship of power, a relationship that truly is infinite. And so it is also now a person. So this person of power, the person love, the person that is a spirit that exists between the Father and the Son, the divine spirit. So with these three relations comes therefore our Trinity. And that is why in the scriptures we can find in the Genesis, let us create a plural us. Um, man in our image and likeness and then the mention of the holy 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 um, in the uh, book of prophet isaiah and jesus mentioned in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit so without much ado what is this to us i don't want to dwell more in the doctrinality of it but i would like in the application of our lives especially in this topic um, that will benefit more to the RCA group. There are two things I would like us to consider. First is the idea of community. God is a God of communion. And Jesus Christ saved us and redeemed us in order that all of us may be incorporated into this communion, may be able to participate into this communion. So, as believers and followers of Jesus Christ, as sharers now of divine life in Him. Our life of faith is to be lived, to thrive, and to grow in communion. And that is why there is the church for us, a community of faith, the community of God. And that is why for uh, us in the uh, RCIA journey, always consider in the understanding of Catholic Christianity, our Christian faith is to be lived and let it be nurtured, let it be helped to, uh, to progress and to move on with, in, and through a church. And that is why important for us is our church life, our church life. We go to church. We uh, learn um, our doctrines as a church. And we do, not, we do not say, oh, well, this is what I think, uh, regardless of what you think. No, we think as one church. We have one uh, magisterium, one teacher. And so all of us are uh, gathered, taught into one community of faith, because this is also for our life. Our life is also to be a life within a community. The second um, lesson or uh, importance that we can consider, we know that there is one God and yet three divine persons. So there is still the distinction of each 
person. There's still the distinction. Um, there is no separation of uh, the divinity as if uh, there will be three gods. No. There is just the distinction because of relationships. So, in our lives as well, we are unique of each other. And so, we will serve God uniquely in each other. That is why we must also give from the heart our personal ascent, our personal will into the journey of Christian life, into the journey of RCIA. That is why it is important in this journey of RCIA to really ask and go deep into oneself. What am I really looking for? And in that question, truly cultivate the focus. I am looking for God in Jesus Christ, my Savior, so that in Jesus Christ, who is the Son to the Father, and who will give the Holy Spirit, so I embrace in Him the totality also of who I am. I can only find the fullness of myself if I can embrace whom I am looking for, God. God will reveal to me who really I am. And so in the journey of our say, keep, keep this journey alive and be able to truly give your heart, your mind, your whole being into the journey. And Jesus, God loving Father, the Holy Spirit will reveal to you the greatest gift of all, who is He Himself, God.